wonderful handing over of these uh, heavy duty equipment. Um, I know that the council is very grateful to be uh, procuring these equipment that will help with uh, carrying out the duties within this um, region. So you know, without further ado, I would like to introduce those who are present here with us. We have the Honorable Oscar Kena, Minister for Rural Transformation, Community Development, Labor and Local Government. Let's welcome him. have the Honorable Jorge Menin Espa, your representative for Cayo West. His Worship Mayor Jorge Rosales, Mayor for Deputy Mayor and Councilor of Benkebejo Council, Mr. Clifford King, Director of Local Government, Superintendent Palma, Officer in Charge of the Kempo Police Formation, and the boss de la Selva Marimba Band. They were playing so lovely um, when we arrived. So let's give them a round of applause. My name is Jeanne Neal. I'm the Public Relations Officer in the Ministry of Local Government. I would like to invite you all to kindly stand and join me in singing the national anthem. Eh, gracias por estar acá. Bienvenidos a todos. Bienvenido, Honorable Oscar Requena, Counselors, Honorable Milen Espad. Bienvenido, Doctor Amin. A todos aquí presentes, muy bienvenidos. Eh, primero que nada, eh, me voy a tomar unas cuantas palabras aquí. Eh, referente a lo que estamos ahora y que vamos a presentar hoy, Mi visión como alcalde para servir al pueblo de Benquevio del Carmen es tratar de ver que el pueblo de Benquevio del Carmen se haga autosostenible, que sea un poco más independiente, que sea eh, que todos cooperemos a que se pueda salir adelante con el pueblo, juntamente con el pueblo, con el área representante del área y con los consejeros, con amigos, hermanos, esposos, esposas, todos contribuyendo al, al pueblo por la administración del concilio. ¿Y ¿Por qué conseguir las maquinarias es importante para la administración de las municipalidades? Municipalidad Miro que para mí como alcalde que está rentando maquinarias es un gasto innecesario, es un gasto que se hace y cuando uno termina de pagar rentas de maquinarias extranjeras o de eh, diferentes entidades o compañías, al final del día, en un día, una, una compañía le puede llevar hasta unos 10 mil, 15 mil dólares en un día, cual a veces no conseguimos ni eso en el Town Council, como a veces 10, 11, a veces 3 mil dólares en el día, y gastar 15 mil dólares en el día es una gran diferencia. Así que ya teniendo las maquinarias aquí podemos decidir cuándo y cómo trabajar con las máquinas, a cómo se va entrando el dinero, así mismo se va trabajando. No es, digamos, trabajar todos los días, porque no todos los días tenemos el dinero exacto. Entonces, ¿cómo logramos conseguir ese dump truck, ese trailer de transportación y esa excavadora o el Baku, Robert Tire Baku? ¿Cómo lo conseguimos? Es a través de los dineros de las gentes o del pueblo que ha depositado la confianza en el Town Council, pagando sus arbitrios, sus licencias, sus taxes, sus eh, property taxes, eh, sus trade license, sus liquor license. Con eso es que se ha conseguido, es el dinero del pueblo que está parado atrás de nosotros ahorita. Y también le agradezco mucho a Local Government por habernos eh, acompañado a comprar esto, esta, estas máquinas, cual Local Government nos dio el 30% de lo que va 
van valiendo estas máquinas. Las máquinas no solo son estas acá, para el final del de mes de mayo va a estar el reel aquí también. Así que tenemos una parte de la maquinaria ahorita que nos está costando casi los 60 mil dólares ahorita. Y la máquina que viene va a costar 150 mil dólares. Hicimos un contrato con el señor Mark, Mark, Mark Palacios, que es un feliz americano trayendo estas máquinas gracias a él estas máquinas están aquí tuvo un percance en Houston con el Black Eyes donde perdió uno de sus choferes trayendo este, esta maquinaria se atrasaron como dos semanas para investigaciones de la, del accidente donde murió su chofer guatemalteco así que gracias al CEO Valentino Sal por creer en nosotros por apoyarnos por a uh, Honorable Oscar Requena, Mr. King, por tener ese apoyo moral y económico hacia el Town Council de Benquerio del Carmen y por los consejos que hemos conseguido de ellos. Es, por eso es que el Benquerio está arriba donde debería de estar desde un principio, pero hace 20 años atrás el Benquerio no estaba en esta posición. Y gracias al Partido Unido del Pueblo estamos donde estamos. Y gracias por la confianza que el pueblo ha puesto en nosotros en pagar, como diga, pagar sus, sus arbitrios y todo, es que se están consiguiendo manejar mejor las cosas en el pueblo de Benquerio del Carmen. No todo se puede hacer en un día porque Roma no se construyó en un día, así que lleva tiempo. Y cosas que no se hacen maintain, if they don't have a maintenance, things get damaged, and if they get damaged, it's hard to fix them back, to put them in one piece again. So, Benke will take a little bit of a while, or a while for, for it to get back in position, and to be where it needs to be. So, eh, los ciudadanos les doy gracias al pueblo de Benke Diego por poner la confianza en esta administración, en este alcalde que tienen ahorita, por Antonio González, y por el poner la confianza en el concilio, también en los consejeros, por poner cada granito de arena, cada granito de arena que ponen en el, en el concilio para administrar para el pueblo, esto que regresa para ustedes. Y gracias a ustedes es que tenemos lo que tenemos y estamos trabajando para ustedes. De ustedes depende nuestro pago, pero nuestro pago no debe ser solo así, nosotros debemos de trabajar para el pueblo porque venimos a servir al pueblo. Así que eh, también vuelvo a agradecerle a Honorable Requena, a mi tío Shal, a Mr. Clifford King por su grata cooperación y constante apoyo que nos han dado. También quisiéramos que el ven que Viejo del Carmen se haga un pueblo autosostenible. Cuando hablamos de autosostenible es de que todo lo que gira en el Benque económicamente es lo que el Benque está consiguiendo. Y entre más apoyan a la administración, sea esta, sea la otra, o la que viene, entre más apoyan, más debe de haber, dependiendo quién esté en puesto como alcaldía, como consejeros. Así que, para finalizar mi compromiso con ustedes, con el apoyo de todos, Dios les bendiga a nuestro pueblo. Y bienvenidos a todos y les agradezco por estar acá. Así que lo que está aquí son dineros del pueblo. Gracias. Una cosita más. Tengo algo acá. Sorry to, for the time. Aquí tengo el Certificate Registration de el PACU, que es Property of the Town Council. Tengo el Certificate del Trailer, Property of the Town Council. Tengo el Certificate del Tudor Truck, del Town Truck, Property of the Town Council. Eh, the Box Truck, the Garbage Truck, the International Box Truck, Property of the Town Council too. And the Flatbed Ford Truck, the F-350 is property of the town council too. So all these trucks have been bought from this administration 
and thanks to the local government for all this paperwork and everything that we have done. Thank you. Transformation, community development, labor, and local government. Thank you very much, Ms. Jenny Neal, our dear person at the Ministry of Rural Transformation. A very pleasant good afternoon, Honorable Jorge Milin, the area representative, Mayor Rosales, and his town councillors, Dr. Amin Agar. Ben Kenyos, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mi amigo, Chairman of the ODS, Mr. Rafael Guerra, and everybody else who's present, a very pleasant good afternoon. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here. I also want to welcome Mr. King, our local government director, and the other members of our staff. It is a great pleasure to be here this afternoon in Ben Kenyos, sharing in this very momentous occasion in which Mayor Rosales and his town council have worked very hard to acquire much needed equipment to help the municipality of Benque Viejo del Carmen. So may I want to start out by congratulating you and your town council for the hard work that you have done over the last year. I want to say to you that we as the Ministry of Local Government and in particular Mr. King who is our Director of Local Government as direct responsibility and oversight over all the municipalities in this country. Two city councils and we have seven town councils. And I will tell you it's not easy, it's very challenging as we work with the various municipalities across the country. But I will say something to you. Mayor Rosales has been an outstanding mayor. Along with this council, with all the challenges that they have, we don't hear Mayor Rosales, they complain and they cry. Mayor Rosales gets up and he works hard every day and he tries to deliver to his people. So I want to commend him and I want to congratulate him on his hard work. A lot of our town councils across this country are in the red with their finances. You know, they have issues. They are spending far more than they are earning. And sometimes they make some bad decisions in how they invest their money. Those are issues that as a ministry we are faced with. And in many instances we have to be there advising them and, and basically guiding them and showing them how they can become more self-sustainable. And I'm proud to say that Mayor Rosales and his team have been doing very well. Very well. In fact, they took up to us. I Every time as the Minister of Local Government they come home, oh, Minister Please go to Ministry of Finance. We want help, we want money, we want this. But we don't have Mayor Rosales doing that. He just works and he delivers. So I want to commend you, Mayor, publicly to you and your town council. And I want to encourage you to continue to work very hard. And I want to ask the people of Benke to continue to support your Mayor and your town councillors. Work together with your area representative. We are one government and we are one people. We are one people. We have to work together. We have to work together, ladies and gentlemen, because, I don't know, my philosophy is very simple. If we want to build this country, then we must do it. We can't expect that somebody else is going to come from outside to do it for us. We must work together to build this country and make the difference. Yes. Y comienza con nosotros. Cada ciudadano pagando sus taxes, sus impuestos, lo que sea, para así como dijo el viernes, contribuir ese grano de arena al desarrollo de la comunidad. So, I'm happy to see that, you know, quite a lot has been accomplished with the limited resources. And for us as the Ministry of Local Government, it's a challenge. Because we also are faced you know, with, with challenges in terms of resources, but we try to help where we can. And that is why when Mayor Rosales approached us and said, you know what, this is our plan, we want to invest in some equipment, how can the ministry help? We gladly said, we will help. Because you have to help those who want to help themselves. You have to help those who want to help themselves. So, Mayor and your council can listen to this. All right, I want to urge the residents of Benquevejo Town to continue to support your council, work together, 
he built, I, I said to Mr. when I came here, and, and honestly, it's an observation I've made. I don't come often here, but Benke is a clean little man, you boy, you see everything look clean and beautiful. That's the way to keep it. Mayor, we will continue to support you and the council in whatever we can. I ask you to continue to work together. Yes, you will have little challenges here and there. Like in every family, you will always have challenges, but we must learn to work together. And like Mr. Price used to teach us, we must put country first over our own personal interests. Country yes. first. We want a better community. All right, so we're happy, um, Honorable Willing. We're happy that you joined us this afternoon. And the same thing applies to the mayor and the council and all the residents. Let us continue to work together. May God bless each and every one of us. And together, with God's help, we will continue to build a better Belize. I thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Sarakina, for your remarks. We have now come to the close of this brief ceremony. I would like to invite Councillor Adeline Martinez Barrias to give us the vote of thanks. Let's welcome her as she comes forward. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Neal. Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to stand before you today and express gratitude on behalf of Benkebehov's residents for the heavy equipment presentation to our people that will significantly benefit the upgrading and maintenance of our streets in our community. I extend our heartfelt thanks to the Ministry of Local Government, spearheaded by Honorable Oscar de Kena. Your presence honors us and motivates us to continue pursuing projects that benefit our Benkenos. The government's commitment via your ministry to assist municipalities in materializing projects like this is very substantial. It brings us hope and puts our town on the map since we are forgotten no more. Never in our town's history has any previous municipality had the vision and belief that our town could own its equipment. Yes. We also thank you, Mr. We also say thank you to Mr. Palacio, who is a crucial partner in this venture. Thank you for bringing the equipment and ensuring it reaches its final destination. To all Benke Viejo residents, who are the major contributors through the payment of taxes, fees, and various contributions, we have a tangible product that is being purchased with our money and with the support of the government of Belize who partnered with us, assisting financially. As a town council member, I also want to acknowledge and commend the effort made by our mayor, fellow councillors, and town administrator to ensure that this project comes to fruition. It took some time, but it's here. This was one of the priorities since we took over office. I recognize the efforts of the municipal officials and staff who have worked diligently to ensure this presentation is successful, especially on a sweltering day. Your tireless efforts have enabled us to receive this machinery, and we are grateful for your dedication. Finally, I would like to thank the residents of Benque Viejo for their patience and understanding throughout this process. Your support and encouragement have been essential in making this presentation a reality. To all our special guests, Honorable Oscar Requena, Honorable Jorge Espat, Mr. Clifford King, Ms. Neil, Dr. Aminega, Mr. Rafael Guerra, Sergeant Palma, and all the attendees, we say thank you for gracing this occasion and making it memorable. Your presence and support have made this event a success. To Honorable Oscar Requena and all his team, we say thank you once more your support and generosity are highly appreciated, and we look forward to continuing our partnership in developing the much-needed infrastructure and upgrades in this unique and beautiful town of ours. Thank you.